Hey everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn over 50 speech to text commands. We have eight minutes, so let's nerd out. A quick note before we get started these commands can be used across all Office products and even other applications such as Google. Here we are within Word, and to start dictation, we are going to head on up to dictate button on the home menu. If yours is grayed out, then chances are your document is read only, so you won't be able to make any edit. Once we click on dictate, then we're going to have to provide access to use our microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and click allow. When we are ready to start the speech to text, then we can simply select this microphone icon on this dictation menu. Alternatively, we can press alt back tick, which is that funny little key beside the number one on your keyboard, asterisk. This tutorial is for demonstration purposes only and facts have not been checked for accuracy, period. Thank you for your cooperation. Smiley face, stop dictation. So now that we have seen some basic punctuation commands, let's head on up to this gear icon and enable this auto punctuation. Moving on, we are now going to learn facts about Vancouver, British Columbia. Stop dictation. Now we can see how enabling that auto punctuation that we have streamlined the speech to text process. Vancouver is home to the Vancouver Canucks. Backspace, open parentheses, hockey, backspace, close parentheses, full stop. And in some cases, it might create a little bit more work for us. They're also home to the Vancouver Whitecaps. Scratch that, undo. New line. The same goes for left parentheses and right parentheses, or left bracket, and right bracket, or left brace, and right brace. Full stop, new line. Similarly, the same goes for open bracket, and close bracket, or open brace, and close brace. Period, new line. Canada won the gold medal in hockey when they hosted the 2010 Winter Games. Backspace, exclamation point, select winter, select hockey, select winter, stop dictation. So we can see how we can navigate backwards from winter to hockey, but one thing to note is that we can't navigate forwards, so we can't go from hockey back to winter. That's just a little tidbit to keep in mind. Did you know that Ryan Reynolds is from Vancouver? He said that, open quotes, I'm not a hockey fan, which is probably why I had to leave Canada in the first place. Close quotes. Vancouver is the most beautiful city in Canada. Delete that. Some people think Vancouver is one of the most beautiful cities in Canada. Delete last word. The world. Select the. Lowercase. Align center. Underline. Things to do in Vancouver on holiday. Dot dot dot. Capitalize that, new line, align left, clear formatting. The city has several historic sites and landmarks, semicolon, including backspace, lowercase, Gastown, Chinatown, and the Museum of Anthropology. Bold gas town, underline Chinatown, italics Museum of Anthropology, new line. Other activities include colon, new line, create a numbered list, 
ride a bike along the seawall. Next line, increase indent, get some lunch at English Bay, add comment. This might get expensive. New line, decrease indent, visit Grouse Mountain for some family fun, exit list. The cost of a takeaway coffee in Vancouver is colon, new line, create a bullet list, dollar sign five, new line, Pound sterling sign, 2.9. New line. Euro sign, 3.4. Line. Yen sign, 558. New line. Exit list. In 2020, Vancouver had a population of 2.8 million. And Toronto had a population of 6.6 .6 million. This means that Vancouver's population is 42% of Toronto's. In other words, 2.8 division sign, 6.6 .6 equal sign, 0 0.42. In other words, Toronto's population is 2.4 multiplication sign the population of Vancouver. In summary, Toronto's population is greater than sign Vancouver's population. Stop dictation. Now you'll see here for this mathematics that a period has automatically been added to the end of the numbers. So if you were doing a lot of math equations and that sort of thing, then I would definitely recommend disabling that auto punctuation so that you can eliminate some of that unnecessary punctuation in your content. Holy sh Toronto's population is much bigger than Vancouver's. The color of the Canadian flag is red and white. Show commands. So if you're ever unsure of a command, then you can always say show commands and that's going to pop up this window here. Alternatively, you can press this help icon from the dictate navigation menu. From here, you can select your language that you are dictating in, and then you can select the category of the content that you're looking to get help on. Before we wrap up here, let's just take a quick look at some settings. So heading up to this gear icon, then we can see that we have this filter for sensitive phrases. So this was already on, which is how we've got these asterisks for that profound language that I used in the video. And so that's one way that you can filter out that kind of content. Um, and then the next thing is if you want to change your microphone or your microphone settings, then you can definitely toggle those on here. And then the spoken language. So you'll notice that mine is English Canada, but if we change this to for example, English, the United States, the color of the US flag is red, blue, and white. So we can see how the spelling of color has now been updated based on that language setting. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. A couple of quick tips for the speech to text is to speak clearly as well as using a steady pace. And if you are still having any issues, then I would just recommend making sure that it's in a quiet location so that you are eliminating any of that background noise. Thank you so much for nerding out with me today. We'll catch you on the next video.